So just as there are limitless possibilities for new types of megastructures, 2D materials let us build unprecedented nanostructures with entirely new functionality. In this video, we're going to show you how we build a structure layer by layer from these materials. Today we're building a nanomaterial stack of atomically thin 2D materials. The 2D materials that we're building with are semiconducting molybdenum sulfide and insulating hexagonal boron nitride. Now we put the molybdenum sulfide in a hexagonal boron nitride sandwich, which allows it to be used to make electronic devices. To create this nanomaterial stack, we'll need the following equipment. A micropositioner right here, a microscope, a heater, chips with exfoliated hexagonal boron nitride and molybdenum sulfide, and a stamp on a glass slide. You'll use this stamp to pick up layers from one chip and move them over to another chip. Now we're going to start stacking our layers. The first chip we'll use has hexagonal boron nitride on it. It will be the base layer of our stack. We'll begin by putting the chip on the microscope stage. So now that everything's in place, we're going to use the microscope to find the best flake to transfer. Since this is the insulating layer, we'll be searching for a big flake that's smooth without any contamination. So now that we've found the best flake, we'll next place our glass slide in the micro manipulator arm so that we can pick up the layers. We'll position the stamp right over the flake, lower it down, then we'll heat it up. This metal block here is a heater connected to the microscope stage that we'll use to heat up the stamp this is the temperature controller that we use to set the precise temperature of the heater. And after enough time has elapsed, we'll then pick up the stamp with the flake along with it. We picked up a nanometer thin layer just using a stamp. The next layer we want to pick up is molybdenum sulfide. Molybdenum sulfide is a semiconductor, which allows it to be used to make electronic devices. So we'll swap out this chip with hexagonal boron nitride flakes for a chip that has molybdenum sulfide flakes on top of it. In this case, we'll be searching for a flake that's one monolayer thick, or roughly three atoms. And then once again, use the stamp to pick up this layer. With the only difference that the stamp already has the hexagonal boron nitride layer already attached to it and so we'll stack this molybdenum sulfide layer on the bottom. Heat the substrate, and then pick it up. We now have a hexagonal boron nitride and molybdenum sulfide layer attached to the stamp. To complete our encapsulation process, we're now going to change to a clean chip that has a thin boron nitride layer on it. We're now going to take the layers from the stamp and transfer them down onto this clean wafer. And notice how we use heat here to release these layers from the stamp. And the resultant structure now has three layers of atomically thin material. And using this new type of building, we can create structures that before were not thought possible. So that's perhaps what's most exciting about this whole process, is that we don't know what lies ahead and what future discoveries are going to be made. 